Does age really matter? Today we're going to do a four-way blind matchup to find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Bourbon Hutch, and thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So that's right, today we are going to do a little experiment, a little four-way blind matchup to see, to answer that question, how much does age really matter when it comes to sipping on whiskey? I think so many people's expectation is that great whiskey is super aged whiskey or that the older whiskey gets, the better it gets. And I found in my journey so far that that's not always the case and that there's a lot more that goes into it, but still that's sort of a starting assumption for a lot of people. So I wanted to put that to the test today in this four-way blind matchup. First, we've got Chattanooga 111 cast strength whiskey. So we're looking at, it's 111 proof, and this is about two-year-old whiskey, two to three-year-old whiskey. Um, so this is gonna be the youngest whiskey in our lineup here. Then we've got the Maker's Mark FAE02, which is 109.1 proof. So relatively close within two uh, proof points of the Chattanooga. And this is probably around six to seven years old. Most Maker's Mark stuff falls in that range. So different types of whiskey here. The, the Maker's Mark is a weeded, but I'm trying to get proof point as close as I can and work our way up in age. So then next in the lineup would be Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. So obviously this is a single barrel offering, but it is 110 proof. And age-wise, it's probably around eight to nine years old. So we're stepping up a little bit in age. And then last but not least, I don't have something exactly in the right proof point for super old whiskey, but we've got the Knob Creek 12, which is 100 proof and obviously at least 12 years old. So obviously, again, in this lineup, we're moving from something as young as two years old all the way up to 12 years old. And we're just gonna see how they all taste and whether the oldest stuff really comes out and shines as the best or whether this younger stuff can stand up to the test. All right, so I'm gonna step away for a minute and have my girlfriend rearrange these glasses for me so that I don't know what each one is. Obviously, I know what the four bottles are, so it's not a double blind, but I will not know what glass is which. All right, I am back. We have now set up the full four-way blind here. We are gonna go from my right to my left, which is your left and your right. So glass A is here, B, C, and D. I don't know what any of these are. We're just gonna dive in here. First, we're gonna do the nose on each, and then we'll taste them and compare those and just see what age really does to whiskey and see if I can even pick out which ones are older or younger. Before we dive in, do just wanna say that if you enjoyed this video and all the content coming out of the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, really helps the channel grow, but also helps me know what specific kind of content to keep creating for you guys. All right, let's dive in now. Glass A on the nose. Does age really matter in whiskey? Let's find out. Okay, very sweet nose. Lots of cherry and vanilla. Maybe a little bit of like baking spices in there and a good presence of oak. Um, obviously this is the first one I'm smelling, so hopefully in comparison it'll draw some stuff out, but this one smells like it's got good, good age presence on it. Really, really pleasant nose. Wow, that's good. Like a bright red cherry and lots of vanilla. Those are the two dominant notes and there is a layer of like oak underneath that I really uh, think is giving it a well-roundedness. All right, pretty good, pretty solid. Let's go to B, see what that has to offer on the nose and just compare that to A real quick. Okay, little mustier, that might mean age. Obviously different mash bills can contribute to that too, but I feel like I'm picking up a darker layer here. That's a little bit more barrel spice and kind of a woody mustiness going on here. It's a little astringent, but not super astringent. Almost like a Obviously you can't smell bitterness that much, but it's almost like I can anticipate a bitter oak on this. We'll have to see if that one comes out to be an older one because I do think glass 
B smells a little bit older than glass A to me right now. All right, moving on to C real quick. Okay, another nice nose. I get a lot of vanilla on this one. Slightly astringent too. Vanilla and like a darker red fruit, maybe some dark cherry or kind of a plum-like thing going on. Maybe it's like a raisin, which is something I sometimes get on that Knob Creek 12, so I don't want to take any guesses yet, but this could also be an older one. Yeah, overall, I'd say I still think B smells the oldest to me, and then C and A are similar in their tones. Um, A is definitely the sweetest up front for sure. Let's go to D now on the nose. Ooh, okay, so totally different. Very different. It smells younger is the way I would put it. A little bit grainy maybe. And the sweetness is a little bit more, I don't know. I just, I think this one smells younger. I think there's a lighter cherry going on. Overall, it's not like one of these is clearly so much better because it's clearly a 12 year old whiskey. They're all sort of a mixed bag of different good notes. I would say D is the most discernibly potentially young, but I could be totally wrong about that. And so let's get into the palette and see how that breaks down because that'll give us a lot more information. All right, so first I'm just gonna go from A to D and see how that breakdown works out. All right, glass A on the palette. Okay, so overall less sweet on the palate than it was presenting on the nose. Honestly, what I got the most there was this oaky woodiness on the front and mid palate. Back palate is more like a peppery spice, baking spice note. And there's a good vanilla warmth and sweetness throughout it. Little touch of cherry, but overall that had a, a good amount of oak on it, which makes me think could have some really nice age on it. Maybe it's the Russell's Reserve, maybe it's the Knob Creek. I don't get any nuttiness, which I sometimes get on the Knob Creek, so maybe that's the Russell's Reserve with some good age. But again, could be totally wrong about that, and I would love to be wrong about that because I think it could also be the Maker's Mark, and that could be presenting with some good age too. Well, let's go to B, compare that to A. We'll keep going down the list. Glass B here on the palette. Cheers, everybody. Okay, that one was a little bit more astringent and bitter, but not tending toward like oak or sweet oak, more like a just a straight up kind of bitterness with good brown sugar underneath it. A little bit less spice. It's got some good heat to it, um, but I'd say glass A overall was the more well-rounded and spoke of maybe a more cohesive older whiskey. B is certainly Good. I just don't think it packs the same amount of flavor punch, which could mean it's a little bit younger. But overall, hard to tell age-wise which one is older. I would say if I had to lean toward one, glass A is, but glass B certainly has a bitterness there that could be age. We'll keep moving down the line here, keep breaking it down for you. Glass C on the palate. Cheers, everybody. Okay, first thing I noticed about that one was really nice mouthfeel. So felt viscous in the mouth. Um, any one of these could present that way, but certainly a contributing factor to the overall experience. That one had a good brown sugar and vanilla core to it with maybe a little bit of like a bitter dark chocolate, um, just a chocolatey kind of note to it that I'm not exactly sure which one it could be. That could be the Chattanooga. I'm not exactly sure, which tells you that if it is and it's only two years old, it's hard to distinguish between these first two and this one, which one has the most age. Still think A overall is probably in the front position here in terms of most well-rounded and best balanced and most flavor punch. But C here had a good chocolate, brown sugar, vanilla kind of experience going on there. All right, 
let's move on to glass D and finish up this lineup going this way. Glass D on the palette, everybody. Cheers again. Okay. That one had more bitter oak, barrel spice, and a little touch of cherry on the back end. Honestly, all four of them have a similar base set of flavors. And on all of them, I usually get a good amount of vanilla, brown sugar, cherry. Um, this one, glass D, if I had to guess, is closer to glass A in age. It feels older. It feels like it has more of that bitter, tannic oak to it on the back end especially i'm getting a little bit of a drying feeling in my mouth which can speak to age could be totally wrong that could be a two-year-old whiskey here in this lineup and it could just be showing itself with a lot of other flavors that contribute to that essence of age that we're all looking for when it comes to good whiskey all right let's go back from d to a now and give it a fair shot this way all right back to d on the nose Yeah, it's still presenting with like that bitter kind of astringency a little bit. Wrapped in a brown sugar vanilla kind of experience. Not sure. I just couldn't pinpoint the age for you on this one, really. It could be as young, a younger one. It could be an older one. There's just a, that bitter astringency could be something super young or something super old. And it's hard to tell. But let's get into the palette one more time. Okay, so then on that sip, I got a good, another good explosion of that like barrel spice, a um, little bit of a bitter oak going on, maybe even a touch of leather. And again, I'm having that drying effect in my mouth, which could be an older whiskey, but let's, let's keep going. Let's go to C. Let's keep breaking it down. See if we can find some new notes going back this way. C on the nose again. Okay, there I'm getting some nuttiness a little bit of like peanut butter and vanilla um, to it which makes me think it could be the knob creek which is kind of the only one i get the nuttiness on but just a really it's sweetening up too with that vanilla maybe a little bit of raisin and nuttiness really really nice on the nose now let's go back into the palette yep Kind of transferred over from the nose there. Good amount of vanilla, good amount of a little bit of nuttiness and maybe a darker fruit like a raisin or a dark cherry coming through underneath it all. If I had to guess, I think that's the Knob Creek 12, but again, could be totally wrong. And in terms of age presence, this one's actually drying out. Uh, D is drying out my mouth more than C, which often speaks of age. So it would be really hard to guess which one's older there. But let's go back to B now. Coming back this way, see what its nose has to offer. Okay, now as it comes out more, I think there's a clear maltiness to this one. And a little bit of a chocolate note, like a milk chocolate now sweetening up. So if I had to guess, I'd say this is the Chattanooga, but it doesn't smell young. It just smells malty and chocolatey, which is really, really nice. There's not so much of a graininess coming through or anything like that. Let's get into the palette. There's that chocolate is there, that malty presence is there, but overall um, it's not as well rounded and I would say that there's a little bit of a youth coming through just a slight astringency a graininess on the palate getting closer and closer to thinking that's the Chattanooga it's a dang good whiskey for sure I just think it has a, a slight um, astringency and youth that you can detect on the palate at least that's what I'm tasting right now so if I had to guess I'd say C is the Knob Creek 12 and that's a big contrast going to a two-year-old whiskey, if I'm right, and this is the Chattanooga. But the age there, I don't think, is making so much of a difference that I would say either one of these is clearly superior. They're both good in their own way. Let's get back into A now as the final um, glass in this lineup. Let's go to the nose. Oh my gosh. This, I think this has the best nose. It's so much brown sugar and cherry. 
and vanilla. It's all sweetness, less of an astringency or a bitterness to it. Um, just really, really inviting and probably just the most detectable and strong on the nose overall. Let's get into the palette. Okay, man, again, that one has like a good sweet oak woodiness to it. Um, there's cherry and vanilla there too, but there's, I mean, a heck of a lot of like oaky presence to that one. On the nose, it's like so much brown sugar and sweetness. Transitions on the palate a little bit more to like an oaky, um, slightly bitter, slightly drying, and like a little bit of like tobacco on the back end of that. It's really good whiskey. The nose is spectacular. All four of these, really good sippers. I would recommend any of these, anybody who wants to come over and have a sip um, at the Bourbon Hutch. I recommend all four of these highly to you out there. I think in terms of age, it's really hard to tell which one's older. I think they have distinct flavors. The only one that I feel like is separate in any way in terms of potentially identifiable as much younger is glass B, which I think is that Chattanooga, just because there's a touch of a graininess on the palate. Other than that, it's really hard to distinguish age and you just got to go by the flavors you're tasting there. And so what I'm going to do now, I think is I'm going to rank each of these in terms of my preference for best whiskeys here. Don't know what the age is, still don't know what they all are. And we're going to see if the older whiskeys truly come out on top here, if age is really the most important factor when it comes to a great whiskey. Okay, so I have spent a couple minutes there going back and forth, doing some A-B testing against the ones I think were standing out against each other. And I now have my final ranking here. Um, I have gone with Glass C as my front runner, my winner here today. Glass A is in second place, Glass D third place, and Glass B coming up in last. Now, I would say that none of these are truly like losing this battle here. This is just a ranking of what I think stood out the most today. But each of these is really, really good in their own right, and none of these is like one that I would ever turn away a pour of. Let's quickly break down what my guess for each of these is before we do the final reveal. Glass A, I am gonna commit, I think that is the Maker's Mark. Glass B, I think, pretty sure is the Chattanooga 111. Glass C, I think, is the Knob Creek 12. And Glass D, I'm gonna go with the Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Could be totally wrong on those, but that's my guess going into this. All right, I have been handed the official key here to see what we've been sipping on all night and answer that question of whether or not age really matters when it comes to whiskey. Let's go from last place to first place and do a reveal. All right, glass B in last place is indeed the Chattanooga 111 cast strength. Really good whiskey, just has a different flavor profile than the rest of these for sure, and a little bit discernible that has a younger grainy quality to it, but such good chocolate on it too. All right, glass D here. We are in third place, but by no means like a loser in this. Glass D is Surprise, the maker's mark. So I got that one wrong, and you know what's happening right now. We've got the youngest and the second youngest in last place here. That means they are not bad whiskeys, but certainly the younger two came out on as the bottom two, which tells you a little bit. Wow, that's surprising. I really thought the maker's mark is at least one of A or C, but I was wrong. Our final two Let's just reveal them basically at the same time because you'll know which one is which. Glass A is the Knob Creek and Glass C, the winner for tonight, is the Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Ugh. Wow. Okay, so it was close. It wasn't exactly all the oldest from youngest to oldest. We have got the second oldest taking the win here, but certainly 
the two ones that I would put in an actually aged whiskey category, like eight years or older, came out on top here. So that tells you um, a little bit of something that age certainly plays a role in how good a whiskey is. Mostly I think it plays a role in how much flavor can be drawn out and how well-rounded the experience can be. Both A and C for me today had the most well-rounded experience. The Chattanooga and the Maker's Mark just had tiny bits of um, things that I could note were not my favorite, the little bit of graininess on Chattanooga, a slight bitterness here and astringency for the Maker's Mark. And those just didn't present in the Russell's Reserve or the Knob Creek. What an interesting result. I'm kind of glad it wasn't just totally youngest to oldest because that would have been, I mean, that would have certainly told the story of age, but glad that the Russell's Reserve came out on top. I don't think I would have picked that one as my favorite out of all these in this lineup, but for sure, it, it really shone through today. A and C were close. I wouldn't say that these two were like separated by a wide margin. It was very close. I debated which one would be number one, but what an interesting uh, result here. The youngest two did come out as kind of clear the bottom two for me today. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to this fun blind matchup here. Final thoughts on the matter. I'd just say that age certainly plays a role in whiskey. I wouldn't say that it equates to great whiskey every single time. It's certainly, you can go too old and get too tannic, but overall what it does, I think the most is really lets flavor shine and makes things more well-rounded, which is always what you're looking for in a great whiskey experience. So let me know in the comments below, do you think age plays that much of a role in whiskey? What's your favorite whiskey? Is it a young one, an old one? What's your favorite aged whiskey? And why do you think that uh, one stands out to you? Until I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking good whiskey and cheers.